Hello, and welcome to Dark Hollow Woodshop. Today we're gonna to show you how we took a 40-year-old kitchen and refinished it to be an Avengers-themed kitchen. All right, so the first step to starting this process is we strip the finish off the existing cabinets. I'm not gonna show you that because a lot of sanding and stripping, and that's just boring to watch. Um, so, what we ended up doing is stripping the finish off so that the paint would adhere better and last longer. We could have just painted over top of the cabinets, but over time, that paint would have started to flake off. It wouldn't hold as well. So we decided to go that way. All right. So the next step is to paint the cabinets now that they're all stripped. Now we decided to use colors that we had laying around the shop and it actually worked out to go towards an Avengers theme. This was to keep costs low. And so the colors that we're using for this are hybrid green, and uh, I believe this is fresh berries. Now, I'd just like to thank the committee of wizards that comes up with the names for paint. Uh, they always make it interesting, even if the color's not so interesting. Uh, some of my favorite classic names are, uh, well, just one, Mystic Pomegranate Blue. That's, uh, that's a pretty vivid image that paints in your mind. Yeah. or reuse stuff we have laying around the shop. So we've been building a bunch of coffee tables and tables out of wire spools that we've reclaimed and repurposed, and we've pulled them apart. And when you pull them apart, you get pieces like this. So they have a, a curved profile, and it's actually really nice soft wood. And the great thing about soft wood is that it shushogi bonds really well, which means we're gonna take a torch to this and char it, then we're gonna clean the char off to expose and raise the grain, leaving a really cool effect. Now, if you're looking for tips on how to do some shishugi bond at home, uh, I would suggest checking out Build Dad Build. He has an amazing YouTube channel. The guy is a wizard with fire. charred all those pieces that we needed. As you can see here, I have one. It's got that nice, uh, we call this gatoring. So it's you superheat it and it chars it and then it almost starts to scale all over. So now we're gonna take a nylon brush and a drill and scrape all this off to reveal the nice raised grain underneath. And that'll dye really nicely. We've scraped off all the char off that piece and it's revealed this nice beautiful wood grain that's underneath you see all the it's hard to tell the texture from the camera but all this grain is raised we have these nice color variations now this wood is ready to dye so we're actually going to dye it purple with a nice wood dye that we use i'll uh, put that in the link below but uh yeah so it's going to be purple and the idea with the curve and all these lines is we're trying to make some molding for the cabinets and we're trying to have the molding look like Thanos's chin, you know, those lines and everything and the purple. Yeah, so we're going for some Thanos chin molding. So hopefully it turns out.
little dive, as you can see here. And then we just have to take it on the miter saw and cut it to length. Uh, we're gonna cut it to four inch chunks because we're gonna run it vertically to keep that like Thanos chin molding. See, it's hard to see, but there's the uh, grain running vertically, that really nice grain. And the purple dye for the Shoshogi bond makes it really nice. So yeah, we're just gonna cut this vertically and then we're gonna dye the ends after we have cut it. Now the reason I'm doing this, typically I would have cut it to length and then dyed all the pieces individually to cover all the edges. Unfortunately, I only have limited dye due to the shortages caused by COVID-19 and everybody panic buying. Um, so I'm just gonna have to cut it to length and dye only the ends I need to dye that are gonna be exposed. So that's what we're gonna do. And uh, let's cut it to length. <laughs> kitchen is now complete if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe down below and stay tuned for the other phases of this kitchen